Well, hello there, ladies and gents, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you currently are and what time it currently is. It is I, Dad Halfbreed, and I am here to show you guys another deck tech. Of course, no legendaries again. And uh, something that you can quickly and easily make to try and get your way up the rankings in Hearthstone. So, this time I'm going to show you what I have titled the Idgaf Warrior. And uh, if you don't know what that means, look it up. But the premise of the deck is basically you're an extremely aggressive deck. And the premise is basically you ignore pretty much everything your opponent is doing and you smack him in the face. Just repeatedly over and over again until he cries. So we're gonna do that with uh, of course weapons, the extremely good weapons, Fiery War Axe and Arcanite Reaper, both of which you get simply from leveling up the warrior. Now aggressive early creatures like uh, Bluegill Warrior, Mad Bomber, Shattered Sun Cleric, and Wolf Rider. And through of course a bunch of spells that Deal damage, as in Heroic Strike, Mortal Strike, and so on and so forth. So, I'll give you the deck list in full. Now, this of course is incomplete. It's a work in progress, as I don't have that many rares, as you can see, or that many commons. But I'll still give you a rundown of the basic idea. We have a 1 of Execute. In case the game goes long enough that they play something really big that you have to deal with, you just run in one of your little guys and kill it. You have Abusive Sergeant. Simple enough. You never want to play this guy turn one. Always use it for the plus two attack. Lepronum. Pretty much always does at least four damage. Fiery War Axe. Simple. Just smack them in the face for six. Heroic Strike. Also simple, smack them in the face for four. Blood Cell Raider. Now this card is can be really good. If you have Fiery War Axe out, it's a 5-3. If you have Arcanite Reaper out, it's a 7-3. And even if you just have to play it on its own, it's not that bad. It's a little depressing, but it's not the worst. Bluegill Warrior, play it, attack for two. Done. Cruel Taskmaster. Now this guy is really good. You can use him as either removal, kill a 2-1 or a 3-1 that they have, or as a big buff spell on one of your creatures. The best combo is of course Cruel Taskmaster and Raging Worgen. Now Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber is optional. You can of course do a different aggressive drop. Like for example, you could play Blood Fen Raptor or Acidic Swamp Ooze over Mad Bomber. I just like Mad Bomber, even though the fact that it's random, because if he gets in one damage to my opponent, I'm happy. I think it was worth. Because my life total usually is supposed to be completely irrelevant. Then we have Charge. The later the game goes, the better it gets. Raging Worgen. Simple enough. If you can get the Wind Fury, he can deal a lot of damage. Shattered Sun Cleric. Make one of your smaller guys bigger and to hit for more damage. Warsong Commander. Give your little guys charge. Drop him. Drop a couple of other guys. Boom. Done. Wolf Rider. Charge. Smack. Cool. We're happy. Mortal Strike. Four damage to the face. Late game. Six damage to the face. Sounds good. One of Chillwind Yeti just because he's a really good guy. He has a big body. He does all the things. Dark Iron Dwarf. Play it. Plus something. Boom. Same as Abusive Sergeant. Simple. Aggressive. Aggro. We want to kill this guy before he can do anything. The guy, wants to be, the guy needs to be dead. Boom. Done. Kakran Elite. Charge. Sounds good. Arcanite Reaper. 10 damage. That's a lot of damage. And Spiteful Smith. If you ever get him out and a rage, seems good. So that's the basic of the deck. So now... Let us play one game to show you how it works. So you want to really be aggressive. There's very few threats that you can't just ignore. This is the exact opposite to the control warrior. 
where you want to always be acting and forcing your opponent to respond. In the warrior, in the paladin, I'm sorry, the control paladin, you always want it to be responding and never acting. In this matchup, it's the opposite. You want to always be acting and never responding. Now this hand seems amazing. Warsong Commander into Raging Worgen. Pretty good. And we have Mad Bomber, of course. Now this matchup is not the greatest because, of course, she can Pyroblast all of our 2-1s and 3-1s. And of course she has a turn 1 mirror image. Brilliant. Ah. No, I think I have to start aggressive, so we have to be aggressive. We have to lead off with a Mad Bomber and hope we can take out one of the taunts. Nope, but we got one damage in, so it was worth it. Oh! Is she also an aggressive deck? That seems weird. Okay, so now let's just play the Bluegill Warrior. Just to take out one of these taunts. And then we can play Warsong Commander into Raging Worgen. Seems good. Or just play a Korkron Elite. But we're 29 to 29, and we'll see if she's also an aggressive deck, or whether the Bluegill Warrior is just a quote-unquote removal spell. So, let's... Play a Warsong Commander and see what she does. Oh, is she just gonna kill it? She is! Okay. So now I'm having a hard time figuring out what exactly is going on with her deck. But we'll just play a Mad Bomber and hope we can take out the top. We got it! Now we armor up. See, like, the damage we take isn't that relevant because we can't always armor up. And killing that taunt is extremely worth. Now she's gonna pray that she can take it. Nope! Now I can get in for three, which is good. Now I have a Blood Cell Raider. that I could play an attack with. Yeah, this seems the best way to use our five. You always want to try and use your mana, or the crystals that you have, the most efficiently. Having crystals left over, especially in this deck, is always bad. So we don't get the weapon bonus, but we do get charge, so we can hit and hit. So this isn't the fastest the deck can go. I've had wins on turn six with this deck before but that's that's extremely living the dream Ooh. so we're gonna be a little slow here but we can hit really hard right now so now we're going to give it charge and plus 2 plus 0. And then we're going to... Hmm, so we're going to attack here. And then attack here. Boom. Damage. And now the decision is either to smack him in the face or kill the Argent Commander. I think it's better to just kill the Commander here. I mean, the Raging Morgan dies now, but we got in for six, which is a lot. And we still have the Elite. That's A-OK. -okay. I am currently at way more life than you. Sweet! We got... We got seven damage. Boom! And ten with Argonite Reaper, just one more Charger and we win. Now she can definitely kill the Wolf Rider, but if she can't kill the Elite, 
Oh, flame strike. That's fine. We still have 10 damage in Arcanite Reaper and... <laughs> okay, another Arcanite Reaper. Seems fine. Now, it'd be better for us to draw a Charger, because then we can just win now instead of the turn, you know, after next. Ooh, how many people have this damn card? Freaking Ragnaros. What you get for playing no legendaries. Oh, and there it is. We got it. Well played, sir. Smack. Mortal strike you. Boom. There it is. The Idgath Warrior. Just smacking people in the face all day. So, that's the basis of the deck. It's a cheap, easy deck to make. There's very little you need outside of the simple warrior cards themselves. And you can get a lot of easy wins if people don't know what they're doing. This would be the perfect deck to jump yourself up from 20 to, say, 15. So, that's it for today, people. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys next time. So, as always, everybody, you know how it is. Stay white, stay black, and stay mixed.